Good morning or afternoon or evening, everyone. My name is Julie Weima, and I'm the Executive Director of Opera Programs Berlin and the Dramatic Voices Program. Thank you so much for joining us for this masterclass. Um, either those of you who are watching the live stream or watching this video after the fact. It is my great honor to introduce our clinician for today's masterclass. Caroline Dowdle is staff pianist for the Britain Paris School in Aldeburgh. She has given recitals in the UK, France, Austria, Russia, Switzerland, and Germany, to name a few, with some of the most prominent singers and instrumentalists of our generation. Since 2008, she has run the Opera Academy at the Fabier International Music Festival, is a coach for the Jet Parker Young Artist Program at the Royal Opera House Covent Garden, is a professor for the on the faculty of the Royal College of Music since 2015, and is the music director of the Zamling Academy for Young Singers. She has given countless masterclasses around the world and worked with thousands of singers on an extremely wide range of vocal repertoire, both in opera and song. And she possesses some of the keenest ears in the business and transfers her immense knowledge with empathy and grace. Caroline, thank you so much for being with us. It's a joy to have you as always. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, it is my pleasure to introduce our first singer today, Livia. If you could please unmute yourself and let us know where you are calling from and what you will be singing. Hello, uh, my name is Livia Brush. I come from Australia, but I am currently in uh, Graz in Austria. And today I will be singing Sola per Duca Abbandonata from Manole Scroll by Puccini.
Super, thank you so much. Really beautiful, Olivia. <clears throat> Lovely sound. Um, I just have some questions and uh, some stuff we can possibly work on and see what you feel. Um, first of all, can you just talk it to me like an actor? I just want to see where you want your phrases to go to if you were just speaking it, so not in rhythm. Super. So is that um, is that an, a list or an intensification? Super. We're going to play, and um, uh, anyone I've worked with here before will know my hippie games. Can we have this hippie game? Which is that in between each of them you can say in English, it's not that, it's this. So just try that and see what that feels like. You start with solar, it's not that, it's this. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Good. Keep going. Yeah, so in fact, there, there's more, even though there's a big break and, and an, oboe, um, an, an oboe solo in the middle. So be careful that your thought process, and you were doing a fantastic job anyway, but it's so hard with the backing track to tell. I know that. But um, well done. You managed it extremely well. I think that's one strange skill we've learned from lockdown, is how to sing with the backing track. <laughs> um, so let's do that again, that you have the sense that you are constantly looking for a clearer description of how you want to say it. Just try it. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. What I might do is sketch in a couple of chords and we'll see how that feels. If it's annoying for you, you tell me. Okay. Um, so just one more time speaking. Uh, it's not that it's this? It's yeah, just as far as, as, far as desolata. And I think then you could also add the extra, it's not that, it's this, in Landa Desolata. So you don't even have the, the, the country you recognize. I think you're in the middle of the Louisiana, Louisiana desert now, aren't you, or something. Super. Okay, so now if you look at the melodic line, the next thing is basically a slowed up turn around. So basically if I look at the skeleton of your mel melody, it's solo perduta abandonata. But there's something about your feeling about it that makes you, Livia, make a little improvisation around that with the, with the right notes. You know what I mean? Gives you a little bit more freedom then. Can we try that? I think the tenuti will work better if you think of it as an extended decoration. Let's try that. I'm going to give you just into that, if I may. So which do you think is the most um, the most intense word? Abandonate. Yeah, I think that means you have to head towards it better and you have to, for me, enliven the vowel on abandona. When it gives you a long note, I think that's for a very good reason. If that's okay. Should we just, sorry, let me just turn it Right. If you could just do that again for me. I'll give it to you again. Good. Even more abandoned. By the way, you and I have got a discrepancy in pitch. Have you got that? How, are you hearing me? Okay, fair. Because I heard a G flat. I don't know why. Maybe that's something odd with the with the coring. So. No, no, no. You're definitely not flat. It wasn't. It wasn't that. But if I give you that pitch, can you sing it for me? I want to check. It's not just my weird uh, system. Ah. So for some reason, you're one semitone below me. But I'll try and make that work. It's okay. How weird. <laughs> Very strange. Not to worry. So I'll just keep on playing mine and I'll know that you're going to be one semitone. No, that's absolutely no problem. So, <laughs> funny. So, abandonata. You still have to have that sense of of the, what, outrage? What is it? What's the worst, what is that, what's the long note for? Why is it not another um, eighth note? Great. Fantastic. Can you look around with the sound? Yeah. 
I should see I should hear it developing one more time and I promise we go on after that Again, fantastic then. Again, you've made a, a decoration. In London, there's a water. It's all you should be singing. That's all the decoration. I have a sense of the tumbling down of that. So that everything is rhythmic, but not always equal. If you know what I mean. The pulse is always there, but you just stretch it a little bit. Super, excellent. So why do you drop down from the A flat to the F? Okay, super. So the I may is the result of that sudden realization. Right. So let's say, could you click your finger at the realization and that's going to trigger your portamento. So the portamento for me should mm, happen a little bit later and a little bit more organically with what you want to say. It's great. But there's a sense that a, port, a portamento or portando is never a sliver down to the next node. It's a kind of leap up and leap up and down from uh, a missing a heartbeat or something. You know what I mean? So, think. Can we hear that? Soscura. Beautiful. Yeah, brilliant. I think all these things, it's useful to have that. Otherwise, you're going to be coached within an inch of your life about when you put it. So rather, if you have a have a textual reason for yourself that you can you can be free of all of us then which is good um. uh, so I think there the uh, profondo deserto you need to go through in one breath otherwise we don't understand that it's a adjective connected with desert it sounds like you are abandonato using another word then you know what i mean so make sure you i don't think you need that breath <coughs> and then take it before after deserto or before iocado okay let's do it again i'll bring you into that Yeah, good. Super. Actually, actually, now that you stopped, do you need that breath either? Oh, uh, probably not. Can you show me what you got? Just for yeah. once, do you mind either lip trilling it or brr, I like brr, or brr, I don't really, don't really care. I just want to see what you've got. I think that's better because then then you have a really good free breath for stratio crudel and also it'll make a it'll make um it'll make more sense i think give that a go on the real singing i'll bring you in um.
Okay, so here I'm slightly bothered by your descending line tuning. Now I'm going to play my version of the tuning because it's so odd. We're a semitone out, you and me. I don't know. I don't know how that worked. It must be a. In my ears, in my ears, we're the same. Isn't that so yeah, interesting? In the chat, I love this polytonal man on the sky. So <laughs> it's some kind of it's interesting really little, I know. Interesting. Yeah, wow. Fantastic. But but in nevertheless, the this, um, relationship between the descending line, I'm interested in. Those. Can you just sing that for me? Okay, brilliant. So your bun of abandonati is a little sharp. It should be a slightly bigger thing. Slightly. All whole tones there. Just slightly more, a slightly bigger gap, um, if you don't mind. Great. Fantastic. So, what makes you bring back your old words much, much, much higher? Yeah, um, okay. I starts to come in like it's less about him not being there and more like i'm gonna die out here mm -hmm. so yeah and he as far as i can make out from reading around the synopsis he has left all of a sudden you don't know exactly where he's gone looks yeah, like she's been like passed out and then mm. he's he's gone to like get water basically like mm. he's, he hasn't like actually like a yes but she doesn't like, know that momentarily but she doesn't know that. Yes. So that whole horrible thing that even her last protector is gone, that would make sense of Conani, uh, Mastratio, Cronella, ah, solo abandonato. So again, it's a little bit of the hippie exercise of it's not that, it's this. Here I am, abandoned not just by uh, a life and fortune, but also him, everything. Okay. So let's have that. Uh, could we go again? I'd love to go from Enel Profondo Desert, and we can just check the breathing there again. I'll play you in. So when did you think of comparing yourself to the desert? It's not necessarily comparing herself to the desert. Well, you just use the same word. That's why I'm asking. You you bring yourself in by saying desert, the, there is a connection, and we're going to hear a connection there, so that you suddenly realize you are as bleak and barren as that desert. So I think I would just give yourself a bit of time, deserta donna, just a bit of that, if you choose. Then, uh, then there's a change, right? What happens? Uh, then I think she um, is more of a... I think then it becomes very, like, a practical realization. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a stage instruction. She tries to get up. So I think that's a that's a change, isn't it? Where you reject this idea and you try and change things. So you've never you've never given up. No one gives up. There's always hope, and you you move forward into the next bit. Okay. So just make sure that's a. I would say that's a different. It's a sostenuto piano. We could have ended. We could have ended the aria there, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden you say, uh, I don't want to end here. Okay, let's hear that from Io la deserta, Io la deserta, Io la deserta, Io la deserta. 
Super. Just looking at you, um, the voglio, I could have a bit more flip over for the lia. I'm, I'm not really, I'm hearing L rather than lia. Can you just hear that? <coughs> and also, just watch the tuning now. So what's the point of the marking there, Olivia, from tutto a dunque with that little accent on que è finito? Mm. Um, it's more like a, like a well maybe if it wasn't finished before, it's finished now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good. And it says here con avvilimento, with uh, being disheartened. So again, I think you get that uh, sense of I've just realized. You know, you have a, you have a whole quite long... <laughs> When nothing is happening to answer your cry of how you don't want to die, so you, there's another there's another stage on on isn't isn't there in between those? Tutto e dunque è finito, and the um, the accent is on the wrong stress a strong stress on the um, on the word. I would use that as a, a not a sob, but you know as a tug at your line because it's uh, because you are desperate. Uh, can I hear that? Uh, <laughs> Good, fantastic. On you go. Two minute warning. Thank you. Okay, so I'm just going to keep on uh, off throwing things at you. Please feel free to argue. I'm, I love argument. But it seems to me here that your line. That's all that's happening. The rest is an extension as you have a better flash of memory. Is that right? And you're about to do it dolcissimo after that, dolcissimo after that. So there must have been a, a memory of how things started well in New Orleans, wherever you went to. So get that, get the pairing apart. A little bit more, uh, maybe a bit more elegant, old fashioned manner. Can we try that? I'll play you in. You've just done. So I think what happens is all of a sudden it says here delirando. So let's say that happens on the fermata. That should all completely change color. We said brava questa. Again, I could end the aria. And then you've got this, uh, you lose your mind a little bit. Ah, so I has to have a bit more front end, I think. And again, you should be singing. That is just how you're feeling. That's Livia uh, 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 improvising. Can I hear that?
just in going back to what the text means, make sure that you don't drop your lines. Could you just speak to me uh, from Ami Alberta? Mm -hmm. uh, so. so it's I. I is different, isn't it? I. Yeah. Go for that. I. So I would say that if you're calling your belta funesta, that means you are cursing it. Yeah, <coughs> I feel like it's an interesting thing for, for her to say. Yes, yes, vanity is, uh, gets all of us if, if we fall to it. So at least she realizes something important there. Yeah. And I would use, if you want to put the accent on there, you have to use the fu. Fune, that's, that, that's how we will understand it. So enough uh, ahead of the eighth. And uh, again, it's it's uh, cursing it, so it's got to have that sense of the structure. The octave is a curse. Mm -hmm. I see. Yep. On you go. Ire, mm -hmm. speaking. Ire novelli accende. Stropalda lui mi si volea. Or tutto il mio passato. Make sure. Mi si volea. Sorry. Ire novelli accende. Fine. Stropalda lui mi si volea. Make sure it's a sonor z there. Da lui. Strappar da lui mi si folea. Or tutto il mio passato orribile risorge. So don't drop it. Orribile risorge. Again, all these Resorge. lines have to go through. Keep going. Yeah. E vivo innanzi. Mm -hmm. e, vi, uh, e vivo innanzi a guardo mio si riposa. Ah, oh, si, si posa, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, ah, di sangue semicchiato. Say macchiato, it's stained. Again, macchiato really has to matter there. Don't drop it. Good. So let's go back. Let's go back quickly. I think, um, do we have to stop? Yes? We, yes, we really, we have to. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Levi. It was a real pleasure. Thank you so much. No, thank you Great. so much. You've given me a lot to think about. Thank Just you. fiddle with all the text and find the reason for the markings and you're done. It sounds great. Yes. Great. Thank you so much. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, Livia. Beautiful. Um, our next singer today will be Boru. Boru, if you would please unmute yourself and let us know where you are calling from and what you will be singing. Hello, my name is Boru and uh, my English name is Olivia. And I live in Milan. And today I'm going to sing Pleure, Pleure, Mes from the seed. Thank you, I'm, go ahead. Thank you, thanks Boru.
It looks like our connection cut out. Um, okay. I suggest that we. I didn't know if it was me or about not. A minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's wait for about a minute. And then if she doesn't come back in, we'll move on to the next singer. Sure. Sorry, it's disconnected. Yeah, the connection. Yeah, the connection was pretty bad. Um, Carrie, would you like her to start midway through, or would you like to just start working? Um, I would like to hear it one more. I didn't hear much because it was breaking up a lot. Could we go from Baru? Could we go from in your score that you sent the second page uh, at the beginning of the aria? Pleurez, pleurez, mes yeux. Would that be okay? The second part. No, to just uh, as the aria itself starts, so the second page, if that's okay. okay. <clears throat> Thanks. <laughs>
thank you very much. And how nice that you have a live pianist. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Great job. Okay. Um, Bro, I want to ask you a couple of things. Um, how much French have you done? Do you speak French? Do you no, hear me? Okay. I don't speak French. Okay, that's fine. Uh, it's it's probably, if you're going to do French repertoire, it's worth getting to know it and particularly getting to know what the shapes of the vowels are because it'll make it much easier to sing. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Do you mind if I talk about that a little bit? Is that okay? Yes, yes. Okay, good. So, what I'm seeing when you, when you do some of your vowels, they go too far back. Mm -hmm. So, if you can imagine that in the middle of your mouth, mm -hmm. there is an egg living and mm -hmm. at the top of the egg, in the middle of the mouth live all the vowels very close to each other mm -hmm. so the tongue rolls into the different vowels very neatly and, and in a much much less moving around the mouth so that mm -hmm. the bounce of the sound comes straight out of your mouth rather than sometimes going a little bit back in your throat mm -hmm. if that makes sense mm -hmm. makes sense to you so do you mind if to begin with we just talk a bit and i'll just give you a few things i'm not french myself i've done quite a lot of french repertoire Mm -hmm. If you can find a French coach, wonderful. You'll find that if they know how to coach a singer in French, it really helps uh, the technique of doing it. So, could you just speak to me the first little bit, please? And I'm going to uh, correct you as you go, line by line. Just speaking is fine. Okay. De cet affreux combat, je sors la main brisée. Okay. So, for example, here, when you open the mouth, if you breathe in, and you think of drinking the air in, like water, mm -hmm. the tongue will be soft. And if you think of drinking, your tongue at the back, think about that. Your tongue is quite high at the back. Am I right? Mm -hmm. if you think of drinking. Okay, so the tongue stays quite high at the back. It doesn't drop down. Mm -hmm. This just drops a little bit here. Mm -hmm. And then the is this way, not that way. So we try not to go sideways. We keep it that way. The set affre comba, comba. Try that for me. De cet affreux combat. Good. Go. Je sors la me briser. Je sors la me briser. Je sors la me briser. Yeah, la me briser. La me briser. Yeah. So also we try and get the life of the words. So it's not la me, but la me briser. La me briser. So uh, yeah, la me briser. La me Brisée. Beautiful. So that means when we come to the triplet, we have the fun of taking the triplet rhythm, lam brise, and energizing the last little note of that bar, which is super interesting. Massonet does mm -hmm. a lot of that, and it's really useful. Mm -hmm. So we don't give so mm -hmm. much attention to downbeats, but we have a sense of the pulse of the music. Could you go on? Mais mm -hmm. enfin. Mes enfants, je suis libre. I would say, I wouldn't liaise there. Do, do they liaise in the recordings you listen to? I think it's mais enfin. Mais enfin. Yeah, I'm saying I don't think you should liaise. I'm not sure there should be a z there. Have you checked? I haven't checked with the recordings. But do the French people liaise z or do they leave mais enfin? Uh, yes, I, I have a French coach and uh, we work on this text. Uh, okay, fine. Mais enfin. If a French person asks you, that's absolutely fine. Okay. Mes enfants, fine. Mm -hmm. Je suis... Okay. Je suis libre. Et je pourrais du moins. Okay. So that, that, uh, that er vowel is important. Et je. So can you really loosen here and let the, let the jaw fall gently, naturally? Mm -hmm. Et je pourrais mm -hmm. du moins. Et je pourrais du moins. Uh huh. Go on. Et je pourrais du moins. Uh huh. Go on. Soupirer sans contrainte. So soupirer without. Sorry, I'll say it for you. Soupirer without an R. Yeah. Soupirer yes. sans. Mm -hmm. Soupirer sans, sans contrainte et souffrir uh, et souffrir sans. Sans témoin. Sans témoin. Super. Let's get that far. So now, have you translated it word for word? Sans témoin. Super. Bori, have you translated it word for word yet? Yes. Okay. Because what I'm losing sometimes is the connection of text. So you have to keep the thought going over the silences a little bit more. 
so, mm -hmm. do, do you see what I mean? So at the moment you're stopping just because the music stops, but there's no reason to, if you're speaking it to stop. I want to get the sense of the long lines. Mm -hmm. uh, so if I look at the okay. first, if I look at the first um, phrase, uh, the main subject is je sors l'âme mm -hmm. brisée de cet affreux combat. Okay, that is the schoolroom version of how you would say it. I go with a broken heart from this yeah. terrible combat. But the poetic version is flipping it. Yeah. De cet affreux combat, je sors l'âme brisée, which means that we land on the most important bit of the information. But you have to have that hook across. Mm -hmm. Can you try that for me? You can just do it on your own. I'll just um, play you in. <laughs> Good, you're back. Fantastic. Um, I, it's good, but I'm still not getting the connection between combat, je sors. I'm not getting that the thought is going through. Can you keep the thought going through? Okay. Because all that's happening is it's yeah. the same note, combat, je sors. There's hardly a gap. So keep that B pitch going in your head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Try again. Okay. Beautiful, much better. So, can I give you a horrible exercise? Please, may I give you a horrible exercise? Yes. Is that okay? Thank yes. you. Um, yes. Every word, set, mm -hmm. affre, combat, I want you to give me a hand gesture, like a, a signal for someone who can't hear that means that word. Like I would go, the set, affre, combat, je sors l'âme brisée. I would do that, but you don't have to do that. It looks like we're frozen again. Uh huh. We'll just wait. Okay. Oh, you're back. Great. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Great. So, are you ready for your exercise, Vo? So, yes. Um, could, could you do it again? Because of course, I because it broke up. The internet. Yeah. No yes. problem. So, for me, I would do very badly this exercise, and I would say every word has to have a sign. So, the mm -hmm. set affre. Combat, je sors l'âme brisée. I would do. You, that's the example. So what would you do, word for word, for the first page, please? Okay. Just speaking. Just speaking is good. And just say, just <laughs> okay. No problem. <laughs> okay. To set a combat, je sors l'âme brisée. So can you show me what can you show me what your lamb is? Where is your lamb? Lam. What what is that? What does it mean? What does it mean? Je I need another addition because I'm making no say another one. <laughs> oh, well, I suppose my exercise, and I'll stop doing it because I know it's really difficult if you haven't done it before, but what I mean is that there's often translation underneath the arias, but it's never good enough unless you have word for word. And if you have word for word, you'll understand the way Massonet writes. You're back. Two, two minutes. Okay, thanks. So, um, Boru, if I can just, this is something, for example, if you can learn your music, it's really your arias, yes. text separate, la 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 separate. 
So you really get the stretch mm -hmm. of the language first and the meaning of everything. So am um, is your soul. I need to see that you say I leave mm -hmm. with my soul broken. That's a big thing to say. Mm -hmm. So I have to hear it as you sing it. And if you don't understand it word for word, it's going to be hard to sing and mean it. You know what I mean? So it'll make it much easier. So if we can even deal only yes. with that first phrase, I'd love to hear mm -hmm. what happens if you really mean every word as you, as you sing it. Is that okay? Let's try singing it now. <laughs> Great. So, Borrow, thank you so much. Now, tell me honestly, I don't need pleasing. Does that make any difference to you? Yes. In what way? In, I think it's the, the, the timbro. Yes. Timbro. Yes, timbro is fine. I understand it well. Good. So all okay. of that, if you mean what you say, what I'm trying to say is if you mean what you say, your colors will come for free. Uh, because mm -hmm. you're, a, I'm sure, a very poetic musical person, but you have to study the score, separate text and music. Otherwise, it's really hard to mm -hmm. keep it fresh and to get the timbre as you like it. Also, I would say before we start, mm -hmm. things, every now and then your rhythms are not great. Uh, of course, there's freedom in Massonet, mm -hmm. but you've got to keep pulse. Like, je sors l'âme brisée. Brisée is really long and Massonet wants it long mm -hmm. for a reason. So that's nice. Mm -hmm. So now do one more time, please, that first phrase, giving Brise all its length and its diminuendo. Okay. <clears throat> Good, uh, go on, super. Good. So, you are a very lucky person to have a sensitive pianist with you who's waiting for you, which is fine, but an orchestra is not going to wait like that. You have to keep pulse. So, one. Soupirer sans contrat. Make sure that you you can conduct yourself before you sing it. Otherwise, it's gonna it's gonna become a bit shapeless. Very nice. Um, I would say for you, uh, take the whole aria, find out what every word means. Like enfin, je suis. What does libre mean to you? Libre, libre, libertà. Libre. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Free. I'm free. So it's more than you. When you sang it, you sang it nicely, but you didn't mean it. Mais enfin, je suis libre. Et du moins, at least now, it's a bit like um, uh, Charlotte and Werther. She's finally relieved to be able to cry on her own when she gets a chance. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna, I know I have to stop there, otherwise I will get behind. But yes, uh, <laughs> it's really beautiful what you do. You change it so fast. I would make that exercise mm -hmm. of being a little bit more strict about the text and what it means. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank Beautiful thank singing. You. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. <coughs> All right. Our next singer today is Hannah. Hannah, if you could unmute yourself and let us know where you are calling from and what you will be singing. Hi, I am Hannah. I'm calling from my very new house in Cardiff. So the decoration here is nothing to do with my choices. I'm also going to shut the cat up because you're snuck in. Apologies. Um, and I am going to be singing um, Have Peace Joe by Mark Adamant. Peace work. Peace work. Have peace Joe.
Lovely, Hannah. Thank you. Super. Okay. Again, really well done for doing it with a backing track. It's so hard. Just so very, very hard. Um, I, the first thing that would occur to me is I think this is written in verse, isn't it? Have peace, Joe. It's best, Joe. Release soon, then rest. Am I right? You know how sometimes poetry is yes. written in, in its own versification. I can't remember what that one is. It's not uh, iambic, but it's something or other. Um, could you speak it in that? And let's just find it, because I think some of the words we could flush out more for the meaning. Uh, he's written it well, but every now and then it's again. Okay. So we can probably iron out that and get rid of some of the downbeats. Okay. Uh, let's see what we'll find. We'll probably find something as we do. So just speaking it and click the beats that you sense. Okay. Well, I'm just having a little fight with my uh, iPad here. Oh, Have peace, Joe. It's best, Joe. Release soon, then rest. So, in other words, what is understood here is a release here is not a verb, it's a noun. Soon there'll be a, re there'll be a release soon, and then rest. So, death, rest. So, yeah. let us know that. Rather, Let us know there's a verb missing rather than that uh, you're asking her to release, because you're not. You know what I mean? Okay, yes. It's about Beth's release, if I'm right. Please argue if you, if you, yeah. if you want to argue no, about that. No, no, it is. It's her release too. Mm -hmm. And then she'll be arrested. Yeah, it's in other words, it's all going to be fine. Yeah, it's all going to be fine. Yeah, exactly. So to start yeah. at the end, because as far as I can make up the theme of the whole opera is that there is someone resisting change for as long as she possibly can from everyone, uh, including, yeah. including this big one, which is uh, interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So one more time. Have peace, Joe. It's best. Have peace, Joe. It's best, Joe. Release soon, then rest. Beautiful. We'll not weep. We'll not fight. Just sleep soon, and then only love. So, if we leave out the gaps that Adamo has given us, just sleep soon, and then only night, only light. Okay, sorry. In fact, it was good that I said the wrong thing because, in fact, it's, it's very positive. Only light. It's all good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll not weep. We'll not fight. Just sleep soon. Just sleep soon. And then only light. Beautiful. Only, only light. Yes. 
be reconciled, be reconciled to my lot. Reconciled to my lot. You are tomorrow's child. I am not. So you, uh, you are you are tomorrow's child. I am not. Just get that flow that over a little bit. I think. You are tomorrow's child. I am not. Of course, I never had a future plan. Of course, I, in fact, she stammers, but it's of course, of course, I never had a future planned. Isn't that right? Yes. Yes, it is. Of course, I, I never had a future mm. planned. We so the, so the stress, yeah, so I'm just being incredibly pedantic and I'll stop no, doing that quite soon. Of no. course, I, so you're just balancing me, you, me all the time, aren't you? Of course, I never yeah. had a future planned. We thought that odd, remember? So it really trips along if we do it that way. Try. Of course, I, I never had a future planned. We thought that odd, remember? Now we understand. We understand it was the hand of God. Yes. Gentle so then, so then, just to be uh, extra pedantic, when Adama gives you that mm -mm, to make sure you have to do a breath, it was the hand of God. It really helps if we know the verse because then we we pause the verse and then we have yes. this big finish of God. Mm -hmm. It was the hand of God, gentle and true, guiding me to the blessed. Blessed Meadow. Beautiful. Things, things change, Joe. Cherish and promise and dream as we may, they change. Tell the tide not to turn, tell the sun not to rise. Try forbid the snow from falling from the skies. No. Good. So that's one of the hardest lines is to get that into a question. To make that into, you see, yes. you, you tell me you're going to try and stop the tide, you're going to try and do this. We know that's ridiculous. Well, this is also ridiculous. Yes. Death comes. <coughs> so try that again. <coughs> Tell the tide not to turn. Tell the sun not to rise. Try to forbid the snow from falling from the skies. No. Exactly. So the no is the result of that huge uh, yes. mm, rhetorical question. No. Yeah. yeah. Ob obviously. Yeah. Obvs. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> Go on. Mother and father, you're all they've got now. So, you've, so again, care. mother and father, you're all they've got now. So you even yes. saying now when in fact she's still alive, but she's saying for she's generously saying it for the future as if it's now. Yeah. So now matters more mother if we think father, about the verse. Yeah. You're all they've Sorry. got now. Yeah, go. Mother and father, you're all they've got now. Promise me you'll take care of them. Mm-hmm. I love you, Joe, so much. How poorly I slept last night. So make sure that is all of a sudden, everything as far as I can make out has been directed towards thinking of her. There's a yeah, full stop she... and now there's a slight reflection of something else. Yeah. Yeah. I love you, Joe, so much. How poorly I slept last night. Just let me close my eyes a minute. So just let me close my eyes a minute. So just here means just a minute. I'm not going to die now. It's okay. It's just yeah. a minute. I just need to close my eyes for one minute. So just there is about the only needing it for one minute, not, okay. oh, please wait. Do you know what I mean? That's a different thing. Mm -mm. Yeah. Just let me close my eyes a minute. A minute. Go towards the end of the just line. Let me, just let me close my eyes a minute. Yes. That's so that the end, so the end of the aria is still positive hope. You have to play forward with hope all the time. Uh, it'll, that way you slay the audience and you keep true to what she was. Yes. I think, as, as with anyone who dies, you know, the time is only the time when it happens. So, wonderful. Let's have a little look now. Can we go back? I would love you to do with the backing track. I'll put my hand up if I want you to stop, but I want to see if you can now click what we clicked and yet sing. It's a horrible game, but I think you can do it. <laughs> I'm going to have to take this one out otherwise reason with one in I can't I have no idea what I'm doing with my life if that's what you're using. So I shall watch you like a hawk. That's okay, I'll wave round.
already much better so what do you think much better super thank you hannah so what is the point of all the breaks now why is adama given it so much broken up because she's she's breathless she's close to death so she's super struggling to get her words up yeah, so in other words, she's she may be struggling, but she has thinking in a, in a forward line. It just happens not to come out that way. <coughs> yeah. So she still has the intensity tension going through. There aren't, um, yeah. she doesn't see the rest on the page. She's singing legato all the way through. It's just that's how it yeah. comes out. Yeah, just remember that. One thing I want, do you mind if I talk technically for a minute, Hannah? Is that okay? No, I love it. I feel that sometimes you're counting with your breath and that you're driving more breath than you need to, if that makes sense. Can I see if I'm right? Let's just uh, do a few experiments. If you were to blow up your che your cheeks like a cherub, so you have and a tiny little uh, gap here, and could you just sing the line? Like this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, no, nothing. Okay, so can you feel already there's too much air pressure on there? You can do with less because it's slightly disturbing um, the airflow slightly too much. So keep it always, keep it from above your top teeth. Oh, just think about that. Oh, give me a couple of sighs like that. Oh, oh. So that note, uh, let's go from here. We'll just give you a D sharp to begin with. Fantastic. I, I'm going to be a pain like I was just before. I'm hearing I'm hearing that the bar line is breaking your airflow. So yes, rather than think of it, can you think of singing as just informed wailing? So just wail. <laughs> yes. Like so that. nothing gets in the way of the airflow. Thin, constant, easy airflow with a sense that it's all coming from up here. Give that another go. Really well done. Fantastic, Hannah. So much better. Um, what does it? F tell me what it feels like. You can give me good news or bad news. I really don't mind. It feels more connected. It feels like it's got better flow. I'm not. Fantastic. In my head. So, do you have in your room anywhere a scarf or something which is long? What have you got? Uh, in your in your new house. Oh, I've got a. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have a throw. That'll do. Fantastic. So if you take the throw, I'll share with my um, jumper here. Okay, so what I want you to hold the throw in this position, and this is the, your breath flow. Your okay. breath your breath flows on the throw, and you, it never stops. So if you can just keep sliding down, even in the gaps, I'm just interested. So when the breath comes in, you just go through, through it again. Okay, let's just try that. Um, I'm going to play just the opening things, then I'm leaving you a cappella. Here we go. Fantastic. Can you feel that? You're allowed to say no. Yeah. No, what? I can. It means on the long notes, you don't step child the note, you love it all the way through. Yeah. So with that in mind, with the text, use your uh, throw and let's just keep the air flowing that in that way with the text as well. I'll bring you in again. Um. <laughs> Much better, already much better. Super. Yeah. So, so now I want to fiddle. Can I fiddle further? Is that okay? Fiddle away. When you say release, 
I think you're slightly uh, gripping the back of your tongue for the eval. Yeah. Oh, so. You and everyone, you really aren't special, just to say. <laughs> no, damn. So, if you think of release, it's what I was saying to Bori before, uh, that all the vowels are here, in the middle of the mouth, not having to be pulled back into the throat. And the E is a soft little flip forward. Really? E -e -e, and this here, little gap here. Release. Yeah. Do you ever, how did you ever myron when you practice your stuff? Do you know what myroning is? Uh, you probably know, maybe know it by another name. So if you sing the word NG, on NG, if you wouldn't mind, yeah. with a very loose throat. Good. Much better. Okay, so that's what I want without driving the E. You don't need to. It's all, it's in your bone resonance. It's, it's, you don't need to do anything to it. Could you now, myroning is when you do that, but you make the shapes of the words. So you really get soon okay. the shape of that, but you have the ng going. Try. Fantastic. Really well done. So that's, that's great. Now, I need to know that the tip of your tongue is lying down the front and that you're not pulling it back. So you flop it down every time. Let me have a little look. I yeah. think you were pulling back a little bit at the end. Let me just see. Release. Three minute warning. Thank you. Fantastic. Now, just to perfect it, you can flip the because I want to get independence with the um, tip of your tongue. So try that again. Wonderful. So the tip of your tongue is constantly resting like a baby behind your bottom teeth. How much less air pressure was that, would you say? Oh, yeah. That was a lot less effort. Give me a percentage, roughly. Um, I'd say that that would be probably at least 40% less. Wow. Okay. So let's play with that. Could you start on NG? Get to the soon on NG. And then when you want to, lift your soft palate to real sound and keep the same airflow. We're just playing now. Okay. Fantastic. What's the difference for you? It feels, yeah, it's more connected to my support without me trying to grip one foot. There you go. So if you let go of the throat, you sh it should, the bones should take care of it. it for me, I don't know if it's true because uh, it's hard to tell online, the tuning's better, simply because a little yeah. bit of control is happening here. So I lost some of your upper partials before. Super job. Yeah. Um, I bet we've got time for another high phrase. Can I please do, I really want to look at your beast. Do you mind? Can I go myroning? Sure. Your B flats. Just soon, soon. Can you myron for me? So that one needs less pressure and more crying like a baby or crying like a puppy or whatever you're told to do. It's more that than going up with force. Try again. Great. No, I don't know if I'm right. That sounded like a different slot. Is that a different slot? Yeah. Yeah, that felt like a different slot. So I wasn't. Yeah. So can you dare, just for laughs, because failure is great <laughs> and falling off and finding it. Can you just try and do that and uh, go up on it and then see if you can lift your soft palate and just see what you've got. So you keep that really spacious feeling, loose throat, and a little bit of, of complaint. Super. How does that feel? Try the slot and then imagine when you're on it that if you want to, you could actually trill it. You got space above it as well. Okay. Just try that. No. Ha ha ha. Super.
Pippa, tell me what that. What did you feel? Connection. It yeah. felt like I had better connection to my body, and therefore I wasn't doing. Brilliant. I think if your air is flowing, you will have the connection. Other people will do support yeah. better than you. I'm not a singer. But play with that. On the mining works well for you as long as the throat's open. And you should be yeah. able to find the spinny place where it's le where it's more true and less... Mm -mm. Super. Thank you so much. It's really lovely. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Caroline. It's lovely okay. to work with you. I really appreciate your Thank time. you, Hannah. Wonderful Thank singing, you. wonderful work. Um, all right, our next singer today is Paul. Paul, if you can unmute yourself, let us know where you're <coughs> calling from and what you will be singing. Hello, I'm Paul Abwat. I'm calling from Florida. <laughs> I'll be singing uh, Moro Ma Prima in Grazia from uh, Un Ballo in Maschera. <clears throat> okay, let's press the play. Paul, great, super. Okay, lovely. It's so musical as well. Okay, so I have some questions. See, um, in fact, I, I'm gonna. I'm so bad at technology, so I'm gonna have to show you something on screen which I find useful. I love what you do. I think you could bloom the sound every now and then more than you're doing. And I'm gonna show you this. This is um, uh, graphics made back in the early 1900s by some pedagogue, Italian pedagogue, to show. Uh, if you can see Messa di Voce uh, mm -hmm. in pictures. 
Yeah. So it's like, uh, for example, this one uh, here is one of those accents. Mm -hmm. You come in and you let bloom. And I think some of the text, we can use those more to intensify what you're saying. So mm -hmm. it's, it's organic rather than, uh, rather than just put on the top of it. It would be yes. nice to find what you, what you want to say. So going back to what I was doing earlier, the, your first line, did you read music by any chance? I'm just, in, uh, I'll tell you why in a minute. Did you study music ed academically or anything? Uh, yes, later, later okay. in. You ever have to, because I, I did, and I had to do a super boring module called Schenkerian analysis. Did you ever do that? Oh, <laughs> did, you, did you hear about it? Just a little bit. <laughs> Basically, a man who took all tonal music and he shaved it and shaved it until it was just um, and nothing else, you know. So there's no point for us in that. But before he did that, he started shaving away fat. And for us, that's useful, especially because you're a melodic instrument and you're not a piano. You're more like a trombone than a piano. So, for example, here, I would say the skeleton of what you're singing, if I'm right. That's all that's happening, isn't it? Right. It's just a fall, falling face. Could you sing me your most musical version of the skeleton, the falling fifth skeleton? So take on the B flat. I'll tell you why. Moro ma prima in grazia. Oh, we're going B flat. Moro ma prima in grazia. Demi con, demi consenti almeno. Demi consenti almeno, basically. So it's really boring. Do one more time. Demi consenti almeno. Demi consenti almeno. Super. So. Then, just do one more time so you really get the feel of that before I set you free on, on your improvisation. The right notes. <laughs> okay. Good. Everything else is decoration. Well done. Everything else is decoration. So, then, <coughs> what do you mean, prima in grazia? What do you mean by that? Moro, ma prima in grazia. Um, my first mer mercy but That's yeah I mercy. will die but but um yeah uh, I'm gonna die but first could you be do me this favor. Uh, yeah do me this favor of let me let me at least see my the, my only son yes what well, is the only son sorry the only son okay so what happens here but what you do Paul slash Amelia that's a decoration of the B-flat and you need to feel that it's gonna it's, yeah that will make total sense of your phrasing then can we try that brilliant so the final that's a sob isn't it yes you added it right at the last minute for no good reason except that it had to come out and that'll give you uh, give you a sense of the elasticity of the line. So, <clears throat> can you now make sense of the rest? Moro, ma prima. When do you decide to ask for the favor? Um. When like I ask musically yeah. overall, like no, just as a as an as an actor. I mean, <laughs> shall we say, okay, shall we I say mean, from the, from the very beginning? Well, for me, from the very beginning, just that, that, that request before she even asks the real thing. Sure. She, yeah. Let's say, let's say it occurs to her how to say it at the last minute. And that is what causes your lack of legato. Moro, Mapri, there is a reaching out to him through the rest and not taking the legato through. So can you have the idea of what you need to say next as it comes, not in, in advance? Because mm -hmm. that will make yeah, sense. Right. Oh, and then it'll make sense also of your little variation melodically to it. And then it'll become mm -hmm. something super flexible for you. Can we try that? I'm going to play you in, if I may, like two bars, and I'm going to leave you be. Demi con 
Very nice. Super. If you're super good um, good about doing gra gratia, it'll give a little a weight to that. And the same with de mi bottom. So just make sure you're a little bit true with your rhythm so we sense how hit, um, involved you are. Okay. It was a little softened, so your triplet sounded like the 16th. That's what I'm interested in. So just try from day. Oh, Demi consenti. Demi consenti almeno. Beautiful. To be super pedantic, because that's what I am. Even that little third up is a plea, isn't it? Mm -hmm. At the moment, it sounds like an interval. You can make it into a plea. Give it a go. For uh, bare bones yeah. or as written? Okay, let's do bare bones one more time and then you'll then you'll put okay. it on. Well, one more bare bones. Beautiful. Fantastic. So the rest <laughs> is, is Paul wanting something. If that makes sense. Beautiful. So that very long appoggiatura before you resolve, I think you should milk it. Yes. Okay. So it's I not over. Wanna, <laughs> I didn't so it's want to put that part in there because it's written in the next time, but it's not written in here. So I wasn't yeah. sure if I. You don't need to. No, you don't need to do a portamento, but you do need to enliven the long, the long note. Mm -hmm. So okay. we really understand that you, before we, res we're waiting for your resolution. So you need to make us hurt a little bit more. You, you're mm -hmm. being nice to us. Make us hurt a little bit more. <laughs> Can you try? And then, of course, there's no punctuation. You've got to go, man, or oh, lunica. Your foot's got to go jump forward over the um, mm -hmm. gap there. One more time. Thank you. Great job. <laughs> Great, on you go. Super, exactly. So, um, <clears throat> you want to hold your only son, isn't that, isn't that right, uh, to your yeah. breast? Okay. Uh, mi consenti almeno uh, um, a vincere al mio seno l'unico figlio mio. Could you do it the boring schoolroom way? Mm -hmm. Just one. Just speak it once. I won't make you do it. Just speak it once the boring schoolroom grammar way. So, uh, consenti. Oh, I'm sorry. So, consenti almeno a vincere al mio seno l'unico figlio mio. So, what do you want? Please uh, allow me at least to hu uh, to uh, hug to my breast, my breast only son. So my mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One more time, if you wouldn't mind. Mi consenti. Uh, so ah, mi, mi. mi consenti almeno. A vincere. So, just I want you to flip it into the schoolroom version just once. So, de, like this. Demi consenti almeno a vincere al mio seno. L'unico figlio mio. So that is uh, the old, the boring, non-poetic way. Then we'll flip it as to how it's written. You'll see why in a minute. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. Um, uh, Demi consenti almeno a vincere al mio... Mm -hmm. Demi consenti almeno l'unico figlio... Uh, uh, almeno... A vincere al, al mio seno. A vincere al mio seno, l'unico figlio mio. Oh, you got it. Bang. Fantastic. Okay. Can you do that again? So this is, all I'm doing is I'm being super pedantic and getting the grammar in a schoolroom order, and then we're going to break it up. Mm -hmm. So, um, Demi, consenti al me. L'unico figlio mio, a, vin a vincere al mio seno. Okay. So, yes. so, so if you could start with, Demi, consenti al meno, a vincere al mio seno. L'unico figlio mio. So please, will you agree that I can hug to my breast my only son? So that means subject verb. I'm doing the boring grammar mm -hmm. version. Mm -hmm. 
Just give me a second. I'm going to undo it in a second. One more time, along with me. Demi consenti almeno a vincere al mio ser. L'unico figlio mio a vincere al mio seno. Okay, good. L'unico mio. Okay. So, so uh, good. So now we're going to flip it back into the poetic version, which is allow me at least my only son to hug to my breast. So you do see how we get the poetic version rather than the one we would normally say, which is to yes. hug to my breast, my only son. My son. So that means... Um, that we have to make l'unico figlio mio a vincere al mio seno really important the way it's, it's got to go all the way through in terms of mm. thought. So could you speak for me now just from demi consenti al men all the way to seno just in one as it's written. Um, demi consenti al meno l'unico figlio mio a vincere al mio seno. Super. So a vincere becomes more important because that's the thing we need. Isn't that right? Yes. Okay, good. So, again, yes. uh, if we go back, yeah, super. So, if we then go back to our skeleton. It's all it is. Then, again, that's that real calling out sound, isn't it? When you have to, when you take it up and you bring it back down again. We do that in life. If you were to speak, Paul, uh, according to the melody line, L'unico figlio mio, l'unico figlio mio, ah, vincere. Try that. Just get the feel of that if you speak according to the melodic line. Mm -hmm. L'unico figlio mio, uh, l'unico figlio mio, a vincere al mio seno. Great. Can you see how even there, in a way, it's it's how you would speak it. If you were to slow down like whales speak or something, yeah. you would get the the line of that. So he's he's simply that he's just following the line of the plea, mm -hmm. and that's what's going to give us our phrases. Yes, it's going to give us the Lunico phrases. Lunico, ah, the only one. Lunico feel Lunico. Can you try now singing it with that in mind? <coughs> Tell me honestly, I'm very happy to hear bad news here. Does it make a difference thinking like that? Because I will not bother you if it um, doesn't. It, it very, very slightly. Well, for me in my in my brain, I, okay. I'm not. I think I have to sit with it. But for what I'm getting is just um, uh, intention. Super. So, okay. So yeah, that's 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 what I'm what I've took from this and so Great. and it also helps me move the line a little bit too. it'll help you to stretch the line because we're heading towards the words that matter i could yes. do it another way which is to say you know um you know tarzan and jane you know tarzan yes and you know how tarzan says me tarzan you jane mm -hmm. and that is all the information in four words yeah so we talk, we all talk like that but we add fancy stuff around it mm -hmm. so if you want to find your tarzan words here I would say uh, the first one would be filio, and then l'unico a vincere seno. Yeah. If I'm right. Does, and that's all the meaning, isn't it? Yeah. And Verdi is, uh, like all of us, a human being who's aware of that and will give us the, give us the a stretch to the words we need. It's not an accent, it's a stretch. Mm. But it just means we get legato plus meaning, which is useful. Can you try that again? <laughs> Wonderful. So, uh, again here, wonderful. That was, for me, a much better line. Because mm -hmm. you, yeah. used, you used what was coming from your gut rather than a, just a fantastic legato line, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. so it agree, will, uh, yes. The colours will come for free if you do that, because you're very musical. <laughs> okay. Okay. Again here, you see there's an, ac uh, there's an accent on molie. So I suppose Tarzan-wise, molie niegi, favor, priegi, materno cor 
I think that's the whole meaning, isn't it? And if you deny this to a wife, don't deny it to a mother. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? Okay. But that means yes, you've got a... Yeah, mm -hmm. Please continue. I'm sorry. No, no, I interrupted you. You go. Oh, um, esi ala moli en yegi. Um, deny, uh, I'm just trying to piece it together for myself. Please do, take your time. Uh, ah, okay, I see. Esi ala moli en yegi. Non, non refutar non rifiutarlo ai prieghi del, del mio materno corso. Yes, so if you don't, if molia doesn't work, materno corso should work. Mm -hmm. Renato should feel something at least for a mother, yes. if not, because he's very, very cross with his wife for awfully good reason yes. at the moment. So, so don't, she, don't think of me as the wife yeah, at this yeah, point. Right now, no, exactly. Mother, I need to. Yes. And that, and maybe that will be her hook that she can get him on. She's not, mm -hmm. again, like um, Beth, she's not giving up. No one gives up even when they say they're going to die. That's, it's to get something out of the other person, isn't it? Yeah. You know, we, we always exactly. play, we play to win. Okay, that means uh, our job, I reckon, is Ese alla moglie niegi, favor, non rifiutare preghi del mio materno cor. So we've got to get that whole uh, three lines going in one big soup, if that makes one big swoop, I should say. <laughs> so with all Try of whatever... Can, Can I do that again? that again? Yes. Yeah. So if we're doing our Tarzan, our Tarzan started with a se alla moglie, and the whole sentence goes all the way through to mio materno cor. Mm -hmm. And it's really easy because of the line, and we're not going to get lost in two bar phrases. But actually, we have to think beyond that, which is going to be more fun. It's going to get more stretch on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, can I give you a hippie exercise? Please. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I'm all about it. <laughs> have you ever done um, archery? No. Okay, I haven't either, but we're going to. Physical okay. Stretch. Yeah, fantastic. Physical the, stretch. Well, not so much that, but the rule is you're either pulling the bow or you're firing, but you're never still. Okay. I and I want you to, I want you to shoot the Tarzan words. Okay, and then you immediately reload and you carry on singing. So you're going to sing all the time, but meanwhile you're only going to shoot the Tarzan words from Esa la Molle all the way to Cor. And if you like, I can put okay, I, I can play underneath you. So I'm now going to be much much nicer person to have around because I'm just playing and not nagging. And we're going to just try that. Is that okay? I'll just keep going so we don't have the lag and latency. But if you can just remember, you're either drawing or shooting. Mm hmm. I'm going to play you in from uh, that though it means you are involved physically in moving your thought all the way through yes okay yeah. what did it feel I like you like you like I, to say if anything. i'm doing this on my own i'd have to like plan it out because i'm thinking about five things at the same time i know i know <laughs> but that's what i like about hippie is it's never about getting it right it's about finding some stuff so yes. then we then we put it back it, it, it'll take us two seconds to, to put that back into normal coaching but it's useful for you to play around with what your intention is and where it stretches from mm -hmm. So just before we finish, how would it be if you, you can either, you can maybe do it with your backing track. Can we go from the beginning of the aria to there? Is that okay? Mm -hmm. And just think about the stretch of what you're trying to say. Oop. From the beginning. Please, just till then. Oh! 
fantastic. For me, I had a lot more line then. Wonderful. What did it feel like? You can say anything. Um, um, it, I feel like there was a little more variety, a little more specificity mm -hmm. in, in the line. It wasn't... Um, what I liked about it, it also was your it, yeah, shape. it was your idea rather than a, a coached idea because you you chose, yes. <coughs> and you got good choices, so it was great. I would say you can get rid of one of those breaths, by the way. Non rifiutare mm. preghi. You can, certainly cannot have that one, and then you'll be nice and out of breath for I preghi. Just I know we have to stop, but could you just give me that in one phrase, please? Can we try? Can we try? I don't mind if you run out. <laughs> Fantastic. You cannot have it because underneath here it's always a little bit more air. So there, oh, there's, there always you'll is. You'll never die. Think, <laughs> <laughs> when I'm nervous or uh, of if, course, if I'm of overthinking, course. I go into default mode and it's like, ah, I need breath or this yeah, no. shallow breath. No, no, no. But it's, it's great because it allows you also the freedom for the next breath. Thank you so much for your big patience. Thank really you lovely so to much, work, with, work with you. Very nice to meet you. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Nice to meet Bye. you. Bye. Wonderful you. singing. Thank you so much. Um, our next singer today is Megan. Megan, if you can unmute yourself, let us know where you are calling from and what you will sing today. Hi, my name is Megan Quick. I'm singing from Brockville, Ontario, Canada, and we will be doing Vaisha Votan from Das Rheingold. Oh, <laughs> 
Super with Megan. Thank you very much. Such a great aria. Okay, have you done the role yet, or are you studying it, or? Nice, nice, nice. Okay, um, I do you mind if I talk about some technical stuff? I don't want to crash anything you're studying. How are you doing? It? I'm wondering, I'm interested to know whether the, your setup in your mouth is optimal. Okay. So, ideally, what we're looking for is that all the sound is made above your top teeth, not in the throat. So, you really get your, your bones working, like your big sunglasses worth of resonance. Okay. Um, Let's first of all do, I don't know if you were there earlier when we were doing puffy cheeks. Uh, okay, yeah. So can you blow your cheeks up like a cherub? Tiny hole here and just sing. I just want to hear what happens. We'll do it a cappella. Whenever you're ready. What am I, what am I phonating on? It just, you can't, you can't say anything. It's it be jolly difficult to do anything more than that. <laughs> just give it a go. Okay, so I'm wondering whether the initial position when you start is quite depressed. And can I have this? Can you do this for me? See, so we're just going to siren down from that first of all. Good. So now let's switch it up and do the NG I was talking about earlier, which is moaning with NG. Your throat should be super relaxed. Uh, if you, Megan, if you would say to me the word ha, huh, can you just do that? And now entirely silently. That is open throat. That's all you need to worry about. It doesn't have to be any more uh, meant than that. Just that is available. Above it, your tongue is free and your breath is, being, is drinking in like... Um, as if you're smelling a rose very deeply, anything you like to allow everything to lie uh, in a relaxed position. So, if you would, wouldn't mind, let's go again from there. Ah, so I have a question for you, and it might be to do with the internet. I think you change something as you sing that. I think some uh, extra muscle comes in. I, I don't know if I'm right. Just give me. Good. Now, hover up there like a dancer and don't drive it. Super. Let's add that. I want to identify which bit of you is trying to help. So could you, you know what I mean by, in England, we call it bad dad dancing. Do you know what that is? I think so, yeah. No father can dance. So it's all very chaotic and it's all from the hips. <laughs> can I have that? Good, excellent. So that is that is disabling those muscles that want to try and be nice and firm for you. So just give me the whole thing to Bad Dad Dancing. Yes, please. So up there, try not to do anything other than hover. Oh, like a informed wailing. It's all it is. Yeah. And if you could, you could imagine yourself trilling it. So you have all that space above it as well. Everything is very relaxed. One more time like that. Good. So now at some point there, I'd like you to... And at some point, lift your soft palate to the real sound. That's all you're going to change. Same airflow. So now, so come to I, just on that. Good. So I think, I can't see your mouth well enough. Can you do it? No, that's okay. Can you do it with your, your tongue sticking out? Okay, do you feel that your tongue wants to pull back? Let me see again. Good. So if anything is going to come up and forward to give you the diphthong, not pull back. Oh, yeah. Drum and 
good. Now sing on sing that position, normal Weicher. I think that's better already for the tuning. Well done. What's it feel like? You can tell me anything. No, that's great. Uh, let me just... Uh, because at the moment, otherwise I feel that it's the vowels slide back a little bit and I don't get the, all the all the sun coming out, if that makes sense. If you were to sing it with your teeth closed, Weicher, Wotan, Weicher. Weicher, Wotan, just closed. Weicher, Wotan, Weicher. Good, because then your soft palate has to work a little harder because there's no space underneath. Okay, I'll leave you be now and I'm going to play you in and you'll just sing if that's okay. That phrase, go back to ch chubby cheeks. I think as you go through the long notes, and it's very typical on such a slow thing, you start driving the sound instead of just spinning it. Okay. Do you have a scarf like the other, uh, like someone else had there somewhere no. that Hannah had? Do you have anything which is a long piece of oh, material? Know. Oh, yeah. fantastic. That's perfect. So that is your breath. Okay. And if you just feed it very gently all the way down, so you really have a sense that it's your slow breath release. Can I go from the same place? Just on woo to chubby cheeks. That's already better. Uh, you before, I think, were counting rhythm with your breath. Your breath knows no rhythm. It just knows how to go, basically. Okay. So all those things you can practice like that. But have a sense that you don't go, uh, keep your hand going. One more time. Uh, good. Now see see if you can match that by with the text. Same thing with the scarf. With, with the words now. Please. On you go. Super. Much better, Megan. I have a question for you. But you don't have a question, I have an instruction. It's different. <laughs> so, it looks like there are four different C sharps. Actually, it's one legato C sharp with some text. So don't change it, just let establish it and let it trickle across. Can I go from... Excellent, I'm going to add one more layer. Some of your voice consonants are under pitching a little bit. Okay. Um, so, uh, I'm just wondering if I should make you hate me even more. Yes, I'm going to make you hate me even more. Let's look at, so I'm very, I'm a nag. So if you think about the voice consonants you can sing on, you can sing on, can't you? And you can sing on, as we've discovered, isn't it? Can you sing on all the, can you see the, the R, the NG, the N, the L, can you sing on all of those without, without vowels as they come past? Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. So I would go like this. Just for laughs. Okay. Okay. Let's try it. Brilliant! 
you're a natural in this job. Do it again. It's a horrible exercise, but it's useful. So you'll see that you've got to keep those spinning on pitch. One more time. Hey, what does that feel like in terms of flow and everything? In what way? It sounds to me like your sound on those are, is more gathered. Okay. So I'm interested in using that when we when we go into vowels. One more time like that. Now the next phrase is a V, which you do so. If you think about it. Super. So let's use all of those. I now invite you to go from rettung, rettungslos, but uh, making slightly too long the consonants and really checking them in your own time. Good. Stop there. Wonderful. Much better. Fer der. Are you changing your vowel at all between fer and derben? What's your tongue doing there? See if you can keep it loose and offering forward, like a little slug that wants to come out of your mouth. Okay. In slight E position. Well done. One more time. Please. On you go. Wonderful. From A to E, your tongue just needs to offer itself a little bit more flippy high forward. Gentle. Keep, um, Megan, keep the tip of your tongue in contact with your bottom teeth as you do it. One more time. Excellent. Let's go from Rettungslos. Well done. Yes. So in fact, you don't need a lot of space between the, the tongue and the roof of the mouth on E. And the sound will spew its way over it, so you don't have to do much. If you think of the tongue at that point like a printer tray, so the paper, that's the vowel, slides across it without getting jammed. Okay. And you just keep in that position. Really good. And I'm going to nag you even more because that was so good. Uh, keep the sound with the scarf. Super, let's go forward. Okay, so Megan, you're so quick, it's already getting better, but your V was underpitched. And if you think of V, it's really here, nothing, no back pressure on the tongue, and it's just air leaving you. Okay. Good. So now, and now when you come to perform it, you're allowed to do a dip on ah, oh, Liz, but another moment you can't. For the sake of exercise, you've got to keep it clean. Just for now, okay? And because I need to check you can. So as you change from E to R, what's happening in your mouth? I'm interested. If you just... Yeah, of course you can. And report back once you've done it. Good. So as you change from E to R, what's happening? Uh, my, the back of my tongue is moving a bit. Can you keep the back of your tongue kind of slopey yeah. so that the R 
is more in the middle of your mouth. Give that a go and see if it helps. So offer it forward. <laughs> Well done. Fantastic. So you're keeping the vowels now in a slightly neater position, if that makes sense. Yeah, totally. Uh, just let's go back to the consonants here. It's all that it is. <coughs> Good. I suggest that your L is too far back. Can you keep it in the front? So the back of your tongue should be really could shiver. Good. Two minute warning. So, thank you very much. So let's do that again. V use that L that's in the front that is not involved with the back of the tongue. Good. Super Megan. Now can you imagine the Alice? Go back to the I you had on Alice. Alice, not the war, but Alice. Ah, same place. Super, tell me about that. Uh, it was just in the same, it was in the exact same place as Alice. Does that make sense? Much like taller, brighter. Yes. Yeah. And it means I get the upper partials more steadily stable. Yeah. Let's go on. Okay. One more time. Wonderful. Do you promise me that your va did not move back during Weissig? I believe so. Okay, good. Can I be sure that it stays exactly and then you offer forward for the E? Vai. Yes, 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 yes. Floppy back of your tongue. Weissig. Good. Let's do that again. So, again, the V is in front with no back pressure. Give me a v, v again with the consonants. Good. And this jaw is super loose, so it's only here gentle contact with the consonant. Beautiful. So now thread your line with those consonants. Megan, really well done. Excellent. Your z is just as useful. So the z is only in the front. The tongue is in soft e. So you go z, and you, as you release it, the tongue is soft. Try that. Z, ich auch. Yes. What does that feel like? Super. I suggest if you can listen back and just compare and decide what you want. Yeah. Because I think if you keep the vowels in a slightly more relaxed middle position, it's going to be easier to keep the line and the arc. Yeah. Thank you so much for your patience. You. Not at all. Very nice to meet you. Thank you, Megan. Beautiful singing. That legato was fab. Um, all right. Our next and last singer for today is Renee. Renee, if you could unmute yourself and let us know where you're calling from and what you will be singing. Bum, bum, bum. Hello, hello. Hi. My name is Renee McDonald, and I am working with Hannah Han today to bring you Tachea La Note uh, from Il Trovatore. <laughs>
Thank you so much. Great job. Super. Such a hard piece. Well done. Super. It's so hard. Tell me which bit is hard because I don't know how anyone can sing anyway, frankly. So which bit do you find hard? Um, the part where I really want to sing it all way too heavy. I really do. <laughs> where in particular? That's interesting. Um, the beginning specifically uh, because I can't move on the faster part if it's too heavy. Mm-hmm. But the beginning, it's just really easy to want to get too luxurious in it and just kind of sit. Mm -hmm. it so let's approach that. Thank you for that. Let's approach that via text and see what we've got. Could you um, <clears throat> speak the first verse? And then if you're happy, do it word for word in English. If that's okay. Okay. Um, just first in Italian's fine. Tacea la notte placida. E bella in ciel sereno, la luna, vi, la luna il viso argenteo, mostrava lieto e pieno. So again, even there, remember, and uh, beautiful in the serene sky, um, uh, the night, uh, uh, is that e, is that e, and it, was, it is, it is, tacella notte, e bella in ciel sereno, I think that's an odd punctuation there, la luna il viso argenteo, mostrava lieto e pieno. Doesn't that link? I think it's meant to link through. I don't, I don't understand that. Um, no. No. I think. Let me just check here. I've got my translation here. Uh -huh. Yes. So what you should have, the thing that is being Bella in the Cel Sereno is the silvery moon. Yes. So make sure that goes through without that strange uh, semicolon. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Yes. Say it for me again in tone. Tacea la notte placida e bella in ciel sereno. La luna il viso al la, la luna il viso argente o mostrava lieto e pieno. Good. Do you want to do the hippie challenge of making uh, shapes for every word? <clears throat> Were you here earlier? Uh, I was not. I had to go drive to pick up my piano. Oh my God, such a worthwhile drive. Thank you very much, pianist. That's great. Okay, so your job is going to be, because I know you understand exactly what the words mean, I want you to give a little um, kind of a sign like signage in the um, on the stage or something, if there's a signed performance. I want Renee's signing of this, as you say it. For example, I would go, Tacea la notte la cira, etc. It's very uh, undemanding and it, everything is right when you do it. Absolutely, and then you'll find your own. Yeah. Good. Tacea la notte il placida e bella in ciel sereno. So can you get that going through? E bella in ciel, e bella in ciel sereno, la luna 
il viso e se c'è in cielo sereno la luna il viso argenteo so where you must have somewhere there something argenteo in that room you got it yeah i know so it must be somewhere in the room <laughs> got to point to something yeah la luna il viso argenteo mostrava gli so what's most what's mostrava that is revealed yeah so Ah, showed or showed or revealed. Do it. I need to see. I need you to be to me more specific. In other words. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, Beautiful. So both happy and full. On you go. Suonar per l'aere <coughs> in, in fino all'or si muta. So previously quiet, in fino all'or. So all of this was totally quiet, uh, in fino all'or si muto. Mm -hmm. yes. And that is, see there, by the way, is what? It's like so, you know, it's as, see. As such, yeah. Or so very muto. Mm -hmm. Maybe what about that? Oh, that's probably the one, yeah. Mm. I gotta get more creative. All yeah, right. go for it. You can do it. <laughs> more stuff together. Dolci sudiro e flebili. Gli accordi d'un liuto. Beautiful job. So please don't hate me. You're gonna go from the beginning singing with signage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't hate you, but I'll <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Let's see what you got. All right. Remember that going wrong is my favorite thing because then we find stuff. So fail Great. gloriously. Yeah. Great. I might. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Excellent. I was going to say, I was going to say, in fact, your pianist, be, be, uh, be merciful and stop, but she didn't need to because you're brilliant at this game. Excellent. Tell me what is different about your having to do that. Um, I can't hyper focus on being too heavy. I'm too okay, that's, I would say that's a side issue, but it's a nice side issue. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm more busy being in the text that I don't overthink other things great because you already know how to sing so by the time it comes to do an aria the job is to mean what you say yeah. we all know it's such an obvious thing to say forgive me but if we find the specificity of these exercises all of a sudden you'll get the the stretch of the verse rather than the bar lines and it's really nice it's really nice to watch you finding the reason for some of the long notes and some of the short notes beautiful and then also what I really liked, infino allor si muto, that is a pregnant pause, muto, what did I hear? Sweet and, uh, sweet and, um, flabily, the uh, sounds, the chords of a lute. So the point is nothing stops in muto, it's not just fermata where you stop, it has to be the remembrance, <gasps> it was amazing, you know, that's what's happening there. So see if you can keep that going, just as if you, I don't know if you were watching earlier, maybe you didn't see it, but I made uh, kind uh, Paul do archery. <clears throat> it was 
And that's a sense of stretching from the big words you mean, so you really keep the, the line going. It's a much easier way of keeping it flexible and not heavy. We can all do exercises not to be heavy, but it's very tempting with this music to kind of dig deep. Yeah. And so if you, if you think about something else, you can do that. Excellent. Let's tell me what the point is of the Anamando and Polka at the bottom of the page. Um, the f have you got, I think, I think I've got the same copies you at least it was sent to me. So bar 14, do you have above it an, an instruction? Hearing him play. Mm -hmm. Now this is like a comprehension test at school. What other things indicate that she is starting to be excited in terms of articulation? Um, the staccato notes. Yeah. So in fact, it's a boat staccato. Yeah. So that means you, if you had a t-shirt on, is that a jersey knit dress or is that a not a jersey knit dress? Perfect. So what it is is no, 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 no. That's what it is. It's one dress which you're just giving a little tug to. Cuando suonar. See what I mean? Yeah. Like a little elasticity. Now just sing that for me with your dress. <laughs> yeah, great. So, do you see what I mean? Yeah. That means you're making something very pliable with your line rather than being just a good a good 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 girl good musician beautiful and, and the sound then it means i'm getting one a flat one dress which is having stretches yeah okay great job also the moving forward is because you want to say something uh here with the uh dolce sudiro e flebli that you're heading towards that that's what that i think is about is heading towards the thing that happened very nice um so my next question to you is from the beginning i've got here a mezza voce i don't know if you have that at the beginning so how do you normally do that? Uh, That's an open question. Quite frankly, I don't, because uh, I don't know. Um, that's that's been a that's been a not a fight, but like a fight to like find the spot. That's Can we try a couple of things, and if they fail, they fail. Is that okay? Yeah, I love that. Yeah. So let's say we're going to do. You know the N. I don't know if you heard we we were doing NG before, which is myroning. So you do an NG with a very loose throat. Mm -hmm with a loose throat and at the same time you make the shapes of the words just try that so you've got this thin stream of air doing the ng show me what you've got aha okay very interesting so maybe m is better for you than ng because i want the tongue relaxed but at the moment it's a bit pulled back so let's say i'm going to offer you instead m and the m is if you had renea you know Ziploc bags and when you've overused them they are rubbish and if you turn them upside down soup would come out yes okay that is an m on your mouth a ziploc bag which is rubbish so the m is super soft just here the rest of your mouth is full of soup okay Great. no back pressure on the tongue <laughs> to so see if you can create that on good Wonderful. Now, spend a bit of time finding the slot, which is a smaller, slightly higher slot. And it should be very, mmm, like, mmm, delicious. Good. So now, let's play with mezza voce on that M. So you get a really plangent, gentle, gathered sound of it. Let's just play. Because as I was saying and also to Paul earlier and various other people, the skeleton of that piece is That's all it is. The escape up to that is the sense of wonder or something you feel as you describe it to Ines, isn't it? That pull up is just in order to descend down again so it belongs as a decoration so keep it super elegant and let's see if we can keep it plangent try super so how much 
effort is that anywhere? I'm interested. Um, Do you feel any, any work happening? Not, not particularly. Do you feel resonance here? Yeah, it's kind of chilling right there. Fantastic. So now um, get up there on M and then when you feel like it, give me a instead of chair. Open throat. So let it let it uh, gather and sigh its way up. It's not an interval, it's a trombone. So there's hardly any distance. Same, basically the same note. Great. How does that feel? Better. Where, where do you feel it resonating? Because I'm not in the room with you, so I can't tell. Um, it's still like right around here. I'm fighting my tongue still. Aha. Uh -huh. Good to know. Okay. Thank you for saying that. Tongue out. Ah, your tongue's fine, actually. I, there's, honestly, I've seen much more struggle than that with the tongue. Well done. <laughs> so the, <laughs> the idea is, great. The idea is the back of the tongue stays as if at any point, if it wanted to, it could shiver. It won't, but it could. It's yeah. never firm. It's soft. It's a soft slug that only wants to come out yes. and the tip of the tongue stays down the front and you just spew sound over it if that makes sense try it again ma, ma. So as we discussed before, it, that is just a decoration of the E flat. So that comes from your gut. It doesn't come from a decision to do a fourth interval. And that means you'll, you'll gather it the same place. Tell me how that feels. You can say anything, bad or good. I don't care. Um, it feels good. Um, I feel like it, 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 it moves from here to here to here to here. Um, so. as, you, as you play with it, you'll probably find it stays more and more above your top teeth. That's the game. Yeah, occasionally, and this isn't just today like in general it wants to go that way and so my eternal struggle is to stop that okay okay so these these exercises i'm sure you have much better exercises for you but some of these things you can try so yeah. the sense is you're always keening informed wailing it's always ah, relying on your resonating rather than anything down here yes so if you wouldn't mind doing Touche, so you just mm, and then touche as normal without taking a breath. Great, super. Now, exactly that plus signing. From the beginning. Well done. So the whole point is, mezzo voce is either you're quiet because you want to describe how quiet things were, or you are blown away by what happened. I don't know. You can decide. Okay. You put those two things together. Thank you. And maybe with your lovely, kind accomplice. Uh. So much better thank you excellent i want to nag about one more thing it was stuff i was doing also with megan the l's you should be able to go up on l just give me l's i'm gonna see what you're doing there let me see what's going on there so wonderful so the rest of the tongue floppy is just the tip which is going to touch in lightly here so the back is in back in e position let's say yeah yeah I think of saying I. Can you 
Can you go to a smaller place, slimmer place, and put the L really on the pitch? Mm -hmm. So your job then is to do la la. So you connect those two with an L, which is like an extra vowel. Give it a go. <coughs> Great, fantastic. Because now it's in tune, but it's but it's but it's not driven in tune. It's just threaded via your voice consonants, which is super useful. Well done. Can we do it again? Great. Um, can I stop you there? Super. Lovely first page. It sounds a lot more smooth and flexible. Lovely job. Um, time, so I'm going to let you wrap it up. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everyone. So nice to meet you all. I'm going to just kind of take you five more minutes, Renee. Is that okay? Of course, of course. Thank you very much. Take you back. So if I take you from the top, can I have, um, let's have uh, R or Brr. <laughs> So now I have for the tuning. So you really have to be thinking of that note while you start here. I'm sorry, one more time. So uh, I took you into flabbily because I want you to be thinking that already you've got this placement and the D flat is uh, just part of the F rather than anything lower. So can I have this? So just start with an extra F. Great, so you return to the same slot. One more time like that. Super. So now I think you'll find it's a slightly different position in which you stop, start Dolce. Yeah, definitely, yeah. So put the D on the pitch gently and you should find it when you're ready. Excellent. Last thing to do is to check that your tongue's not pulling back on the flabbily. The L will thread it for you, Renee. Eh, eh, eh. okay. Wonderful the beginning, the dolce. Wonderful. I dare you on Liuto not to pull the tongue back. Li just bring your lips forward. Li floppy tongue. Just that and we'll stop. Uh, li accordi. Floppy tongue. Great. Can you feel that? Brilliant. Let's stop there. Thank you so much for your patience. I'm a terrible nag. But those, if you, those tiny details will help you thread your um, mock vowel, so L, Z, all those voice consonants, and it really uh, keeps the line not heavy. It's not a nag if I asked for it. No. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I just nag. So. <laughs> well, I did walk into the master class. Yeah, that's true. Really lovely to meet you, and thank you so much for your pianist as well. It makes such a difference. Great job. Not at all. See you. Bye. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Renee. Um, thank you, everyone who sang today. It's been absolutely brilliant. Um, Livia, Boru, Hannah, Paul, Megan, and Renee. Wonderful work. Wonderful singing. Um, it's just a joy to hear all of you. And Caroline, thank you very much for being with us. And we look forward to tomorrow. My big pleasure. Thank you so much, everyone. It was lovely to work with you all. Great to meet you. See you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.